So if you're a Mayo supporter, I'd imagine the last couple of years has been very frustrating. In fact, I'd imagine the last couple of decades has been very frustrating and probably your entire lifetime following Mayo has been nothing short of heartbreak, sadly. And don't get me wrong, as a Dublin fan, I've enjoyed Dublin's success and I've enjoyed seeing Dublin beat Mayo in various all Ireland finals and in various championship meetings. When it comes to being a neutral fan and when it comes to being unbiased on this channel, Mayo have been a team I've looked at for numerous years and thought there is an All-Ireland in this team. Especially this season, I really felt there was an All-Ireland in this side and I've often looked at this Mayo group in a different way maybe to the Mayo group in the, in the mid-2010s. sort of 2010s. Like, Don't get me wrong, the, te the Mayo team in the mid-2010s, I think we can definitively say are a better team than this current Mayo group. But I looked at, obviously, Dublin having slowed down and having regressed and I looked at maybe some of the other contenders out there. I looked at this Mayo team having so much depth, being a very young team, a new bright manager and Kevin McStay. And I just felt like there was so much potential there for Mayo to go on and do something this season. And I made a video about a year ago discussing why Kevin McStay can win an All-Ireland with Mayo. And I really did feel that he had so much potential. And I still think there is so much potential with this Mayo side. And I still think there could be an All-Ireland in this Mayo team. But my problem with Mayo is that there's just this thing about Mayo in the last couple of years and I've watched a lot of games back, I've been trying to put my finger on it and I think what it is, is that they just can't quite evolve and get with the times in my opinion. I look at Mayo and they have so many great players from 1 to 15, they've so much depth in their side, they've obviously had a huge amount of turnover in the last couple of seasons, players retiring, players getting older, big change in the team. But when they got to that All Ireland final in 2021, and and they and they lost it, and even when they got to the final season previous, I was thinking, I do think there is an All Ireland in this Mayo side. They're a young team. They've got some brilliant attackers in the likes of Ryan O'Donoghue, Tommy Conroy, Jordan Flynn, who's since burst on the scene, Fionn McDonough as well. Midfield wise, I think Matthew Rowan is a colossus. I think German O'Connor is very good as well. And I thought there is an All Ireland in this side, and I, in some ways, I still do. But this season for me has been a big, big reality check, I think, for Mayo. And that defeat to Dublin in the way that they lost and the way they got hammered, it's made me question and think, like, don't get me wrong, as a fan and as a Dublin fan, I don't necessarily want Mayo to win an All-Ireland. But as a neutral, I look at it and I think, it's the first time I've looked at this Mayo group and these group of players and I've thought, I don't think they have it in them to win an All-Ireland. I'm not too sure if this group has what it takes because look the the side in the mid 2010s they lost numerous amount of all Ireland finals they came so close i think that team when you look back at it they were just a little bit unlucky at times they just you know a couple of decisions maybe didn't go their way on the day dublin just had the better of them and it went down to one or two scores and i look at this mayo side and i just don't think they quite have the inner strength the mentality within themselves and i think they need to evolve if you look at dublin and Kerry and you look at their styles and the way they set up and the way that they play dublin technically and Kerry technically at times can be unbelievable when they play front foot football they can be outstanding but as we've seen with dublin and Kerry, they've they can switch it up just like that they can switch it up and be defensive they can get men behind the ball they can switch up their way of playing i look at mayo and i think they only have one way of playing. And that is my big problem with Mayo. They only have one way of playing, which is getting on the front foot, getting after teams. They're a very athletic team. They they cause a lot of problems, you know, when they have the ball. Organised chaos has often been thrown at Mayo in, in the last couple of seasons. And that's something that they very much thrive off of. I think they thrive off of games being a bit mental and a bit being a bit mad and end-to-end -end and... They thrive off teams attacking them and going for their throw because they'll just do the same back. And a lot of the time, Mayo will come out on top on those occasions. The perfect example is when they beat Kerry earlier in the year. But I think there is a softness about this Mayo side. I think there is a bit of... There's a lack of belief, maybe, to a certain extent. Um, because the quality is there. The quality is there, in my opinion. I think this Mayo side maybe aren't as good as the side in the mid-2010s. But I think... What's important to remember is that that Mayo team were competing with probably the greatest Gaelic football team of all time in Dublin. And I think this current version of Dublin side, you know, is nowhere near even the, the Dublin side that was winning all Ireland's in 2017, 2018, 2016, um, even though we comfortably beat Mayo this year. And I think that's the worry is that, like, an all Ireland, like, Dublin aren't going to dominate in this decade the way that they did in the decade just gone. I don't think Kerry are going to necessarily 
dominate this decade. I don't think there's a team out there that's going to dominate in the way that Dublin have or that Limerick have in Hurling or we've seen you know Kerry teams in the past do it. I just don't see a side out there that can dominate the All Ireland scene in this decade, and that will open it up for teams and. Galway could have a, a conversation. We'll certainly be discussing them at some point over the next couple of weeks. But Mayo have it like Mayo have it there. Like they have great players: Ryan O'Donoghue, Tommy Conroy, Jordan Flynn, Fionn McDonough, Killian O'Connor still there. You've got Aidan O'Shea, who looked very good this season. You have to call it as it is. He had a very good season this year, and I think Kevin McStay got the best out of him. And he, or even in the first half against Dublin, he was causing a nuisance when those balls were going into him. But I do think Mayo need to evolve and they need to stop being naive in the way that they play football because they're far too attacking. They rely on too many players getting forward. They don't place as much emphasis on the fence. They rely on runners sort of running off the shoulder, playing a bit of a running game. And they're not able to mix it. And I think, as we've seen with Dublin this year, Kerry last year, and even Thrall in 21, you need to be able to mix up your game. Attack when the, when the moments are there, go on the front foot, press up on the odd kick out, then shift back, kick it long sometimes, kick it short then, keep the opposition guessing. And I don't see Mayo doing that. They're very predictable in how they play. And they've been like that really probably since Stephen Rashford's been in charge. And that's the big worry for Mayo is that I look at them as a group and I look at them with the players that they have and I think they're not a million miles off. Hammered by Dublin this season, beaten comfortable by Mayo or by Kerry last season as well. They've got good players, young players, Ryan O'Donoghue as I've said before, midfield very solid, Connor Loftus in there. And even defensively this year with the likes of Sam Callanan and David McBrien coming in, their full back line looked fairly decent at times. But the, the problem is, is that because Mayo only have one way of playing, they're on the front foot all the time, every game. And also in the league as well. They went so strong in the league. And I think there has to be a bit of a, a rethink about the league next season for Mayo. Don't get me wrong. You want to win silverware and you want to you know win matches and everything else. You don't play games to lose. But I think Mayo should be placing emphasis on peaking in the championship because Mayo have proven that they're there thereabouts. They beat Kerry this year, you know, that they're they're a very good side. They're not a million miles off. And I think they can get themselves into the conversation. But my worry is that they're they've got a very naive way of playing football. A running game, too many players run, running off the shoulder. They're not able to mix it. There is a softness about them in the last couple of years. Even even going back to the All Ireland final against Tyrone, like they were beaten fairly comfortably and I know they beat Dublin in the semi-final if you go back and watch that game Dublin were comfortable they were leading quite comfortably and they they just completely capitulated and I've no idea what happened with Dublin that day and don't get me wrong you have to give a huge amount of credit for Mayo for sticking in there for not lying down for not backing down but in reality when you look at the last couple of seasons that element of Mayo where they'd always fight back they'd always come back from the dead it's just not really there and when they come up against defensive teams they really struggle Loud, Roscommon, and I think there is a naiveness about them, and I think you can bully Mayo, you can bully them. Ultimately, look, I think Mayo have great footballers, like I said before. I think Kevin McStay, in his first season as manager, and you know, I, I don't think they're, as I said, I don't think they're a million miles off. I think McStay will be there for the next couple of seasons, but Mayo do need to shape up a little bit how they play. Um, they can't just play this front foot, full throttle attack and style football. Because times have changed. You know, if every team played the way Mayo played, Mayo would win the All Ireland. Because I think, you know, in terms of quality of players, midfield, you know, they're, they're able to beat anyone and go toe to toe with anyone, in my opinion. But as we've seen even against Dublin, like Dublin would press up on their kickouts, they would drop back and make life difficult for Mayo. And it was just hard for Mayo to break them down. And Mayo just, they struggle against big, strong physical teams. And we've seen that this year. And that's the worry about them is that. They need they need to get up with the times a bit more. Maybe cha- you know bring in players with pace. You know Aidan O'Shea. Don't get me wrong, very good player. Had a very good season. He still has a role to play next year. I think, provided he doesn't call it a day or anything like that. That is the worry. That is the worry from a Mayo perspective. They're not a million miles off, but for me, they need to evolve. Just get with get with the times a bit more is what I would say, and I mean that with all due respect. And I think even some Mayo fans would agree. Because they, they do have very good players and a great team. 
but they've looked a million miles off the last couple of seasons and it's mad to think that because they don't seem that way when you look at what they have available to them but yeah for any male fans like let me know in the comments down below what you think um how do you think this year went and ultimately you know i know next season's championship and league is obviously a good bit away it's a long bit away of course we're in august right now and um you know coming towards the end of august and everything else but do let me know like for any male fans like what what is the the hope going into next season i, I do look at it and think there is a so there, there is a team there i think there is an all ireland in this team but they need to they need to get it right next year and when i mean get it right i mean you know, be competitive with big teams, get close, get to a semi-final. They don't necessarily have to win it, but they have to prove that, like a bit like Derry, Derry this year proved that they belong at the top table, that they can compete, that they can do it. And if they just get one or two more pieces of the jigsaw right, they're not a million miles off. Whereas Mayo, for me, have been bullied in, in big games in the last couple, you know, in the quarterfinals this year, quarterfinals last year. They've shown moments of quality and they've shown moments of brilliance against the likes of Kerry in the league at times as well. And obviously beating Galway this year. But ultimately for Mayo, the holy grail is the all Ireland. That's what they want. And when it's gotten to the all Ireland series in the last couple of seasons, they've very much disappointed. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe. More content coming soon and I'll chat to you all later.